as you can see, there's no longer incisions in my feet. Uh, it's soft, supple skin. And, uh, you know, the, the symptoms of the athlete's foot is gone. Uh, my heel and my pad is completely healed. And, uh, you know, I no longer have itching, uh, no, no longer burns, anything like that. So basically what you want to do, you want to take your hand and spray the oil into your hand and then massage it into your feet like so. Make sure that you really massage it into the heel. Make sure that you really massage it into the pads of the feet. Now the great thing is with the olive oil as well as the coconut oil, it's going to have healing properties for the skin. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you put an ample amount in between your toes. Make sure that you rub it in really, really good. Okay, because that's where a lot of the fungus in the athlete's foot will mingle and get together. They like to throw a party there. All right, and then you want to completely rub it in to the feet and rub it on the back of the heel as well as on the ankle so that none of the athlete's foot tries to spread. In applicating to the nails, you want to make sure that you put a good application on the nails and rub it in so that you can make sure that you don't have any fungal growth on the toenails. And the great thing about this is, is if you have uh, fungal uh, growth or fungal buildup on your toes or your toenails, it will actually start to eat that away slowly but surely. Once that is done and your foot is sufficiently applicated, make sure that you put on clean socks. Now, using this treatment, it will stain your socks because it is oil, uh, but you want to make sure that you have clean socks so that you don't continually recontaminate your feet while you're trying to heal them. Now, remember, it is going to have a strong, pungent smell because one of the garlic and two, all of the piney, woody essential oils. We usually say it's best to apply it at night, right before you go to sleep. If you're single, or uh, apply it right before you go out for the day so that it's not cooped up in one small place.